Hi and welcome back to Northlands Wargamers on the Road. My name's Barry and today we're showing a semi-final match from the Age of Sigmar Nationals held at UK Games Expo in Birmingham. It's between Mike Pfeiffer on the left playing Rotticus Rainfather and James Curtis on the right playing Order. We've seen James Curtis before in our videos when he got to the final with Scarbrand in the Northampton Circuit event. This time he's piloting a Sylvaneth hybrid list. In our last video we saw Mike Pfeiffer defeat Dominic Elstrom with the Mordant Burn. Mike has only been playing a month and has added his own style of play to the already popular Rotikus deck. Top cut for the semi-finals was 3 Chaos and 1 Order. For Mike we have the Herald of Nurgle, Blood Reaver Chieftain, Chaos Champion and Rotikus Rainfather. And for James we have Kurnoth Huntmaster, Protector Prime, Sacred Branch Wraith, and another Protector Prime. So it's all about placement with the Protector Primes because they minus one damage off of units. So we've got Fury Strike going in for five. First quest done on that Herald of Nurgle. You're going to see a unit placed on it to get that spinning. No, there we go. Gorslick Skull Reaper goes in. One Ren damage. Protector Prime will not stop that damage at all. So it's a good play there. James goes in with a Metamorphosis. So next turn he's going to discard a card. To draw a card from his discard pile. And then draw a card from his deck. And he's got follows up with a thundering concussor, one damage, first quest done on the Protector Prime. So he's going to deal one damage because now Rotticus is um, engaged. Nothing from the Gore Slick Skull Reapers. Fanatical Skull Fiend goes into play, one damage to himself, second quest done on the um, Herald of Nurgle, and then draws a card. So one damage from the Thundering Concussor. So James is going to discard a card. So he's discarded the Flowering Dryad. Gets to heal for three. Two off of the Dryad and one off of the Branch Wraith. Goes into his deck. Pick a card. So he's drawn another Flowering Dryad. Shuffles his deck. Okay, so a lot's already happened, and we haven't even got to his actions yet. So he gets to draw that card back out of the discard pile with a follow-up with um, Metamorphosis. Trample underfoot played, so three damage. He's going to ditch a Flowering Dryad, there we go, and heal for three. Two off the Flowering Dryad and one off the Sacred Branch Wraith. So, draw a card. Over to Mike. So, Rotticus is going to deal one damage. Then he's got three damage coming from the Fanatical Skull Fiends and three Ren damage coming from the Gorslick Skull Reaper. So, he's done his second quest on the um, Blood Reaver Chieftain. Plays Putrid Offering, so he's going to remove that Gore Slick Skull Reaper. So he's going to do two last stand damage, which will go down to one because of Protector Prime. He's going to do two damage through Putrid Offering, and he's going to heal for two. So he's got one action left. There we go, he's going to draw. So he's up to two cards. James is go. Two damage with the Thundering Concussor. He's going to ditch a card with the Metamorphosis. So he's going to ditch a Dryad. Heal for three. Two through the Flowering Dryad when discarded. And one through Sacred Branch Wraith. Draw a card from his deck. 
and then he gets to draw a card from his discard pile. So he's going to put one of those Flowering Dryads back in his hand. So he's chosen Flowering Dryad from the from his deck, so that'll be the third. There we go, so he's going to take one back. So are we going to see another Trample Underfoot discarding a Flowering Dryad? To heal another three. No, Silent Communion. So he's going to draw four cards. So he gets a Screeching Tree Revenant, another Metamorphosis, a Thundering Concussor, and that is a Hurricane Raptor. Uh, so he gets to pick one unit and one spell. So he has to pick that Metamorphosis. So it just depends on what uh, unit he wants. So he's gone for a bit more control, so he's picked up a Hurricane Raptor. So he's still got one more action. So Trample Underfoot, so reveals a, reveals a Blessing. So what does he get? He gets Call of Valerial. So if he discards a card from his hand as a Heroic Act, he gets to draw cards from the discard pile. So Trample Underfoot, he gets to discard a card. Heal for three, two off the Dryad and one off Sacred Branch Wraith. So Mike's go. One damage through Rotigus. One, one damage to himself through this Fanatical Skull Fiend. Gets to reveal the Blessing so we get Unrivaled Battlelust. So it's just going to come down to how much healing... Um, James can do over the next few rounds. Metamorphosis and Thundering Concussor will leave play. So you might see Call of Illyrial here to try and get those Flowering Dryers back into his hand. So Hurricane Raptor goes out. One damage. He's trying to slow down that Blood Reaver Chieftain so um, he doesn't get another Blessing off. And we've got a wild form. So that's going to reduce any abilities by four in the um, three lanes. So one, one opposite and the two adjacent. So one health back from Otticus Rainfather. One damage to himself through um, Unrival Battlelust. And six damage from the Fanatical Skull Fiend. So he can't deploy there because of the Hurricane Raptor. James has not remembered that. So that was, he's taken four Ren damage. There we go. So he's just remembered. I think James is suffering from a little bit of mental fatigue there. So this is now the seventh game of the day. So Gorslick's Slick's now going under there. Four damage. So Mike, if he's going to play any abilities, has to be through the Herald of Nurgle. There we go. Blood Reaver Chieftain. So he's going to do another four damage. So two damage from the Hurricane Raptor. It really needs some health gain here. That unrivaled battle lust is absolutely tearing him apart. So Trample Underfoot, three damage. Second quest done on that Protector Prime. Discards a Flowering Dryad and heals for three. Two through the Flowering Dryad and one through Sacred Branch Wraith. Call Valerial, so he's going to Heroic Act. He's going to discard a Metamorphosis. Heals one through Sacred Branch Wraith. And he's probably going to pick up those Flowering Dryads. So there's one. There's the other. So just trying to stem the tide for our rival battle lust damage. Healing for run through Roticus Rainfather. Fanatical Skull Fiend leaves play. No damage from the Gorslick Skull Reaper. One damage taken to himself from Unrival Battle Lust. 
So, Blood Fury Rathmunger going into play. Four damage. So, there we go. James just pointing out that Blood Fury Rathmungers do damage to themselves. So, three more damage from Blood Reaver Chieftain with his Heroic Act. So, James is go. Hurricane Raptor leaves play. So, the Wild Form is there to stop any extra damage from abilities. Trample Underfoot. Three damage. He's going to discard one of those Flowering Dryads. There we go. He's going to heal for three. Heroic Act. Discard a card. So he's discarded a Flowering Dryad to heal another three and then pulls back those Flowering Dryads into his hand. Gains one health through Rotticus Rainfather. Unrivaled Battlelust to deal one damage to himself. Four damage from Blood Fury Wrathmongers. Five damage from the Gorslick Skull Reapers. So... Just depends if Mike can finish him off. So he's done all of his damage. No, he didn't take any damage from the Blood Fury Wrathmonger. So, can Mike finish him off? Goal slick, goal slick Skull Reaper goes in, finishes him off with three Ren damage. Well done, Mike. So that game was pretty quick. There's not a lot of those Protector Primes were... um doing but the flowering dryad certainly helped so game two we have herald of nurgle blood reaver chieftain roticus rainfather and chaos champion versus james's kernoth huntmaster sacred branch wraith protector prime and then second protector prime so one of those protector primes is opposite um roticus so that's pretty much going to do not a lot this game um, Mike didn't really use his Chaos Champion last game, so the other Protector Prime is out of a good location as well. So, Mike starts off with a Blood Fury Wrathmonger, dealing two damage and deals one damage to himself. James follows up with a Hurricane Raptor, one damage, and then a Trample Underfoot. Does three damage, discards a Flowering Dryad and heals for three. James has forgot to trigger his second quest on his Protector Prime. One damage to James from Rotigus. Blood Fury Wrathmonger is going to do uh, two damage and then one damage to himself. Uh, Mike draws two. So he's going to take two damage from those Hurricane Raptors. Those lights are playing up on all the cards. So there's not a lot I can do about that. It's a good job I have to work out basically what the card is so I can tell you. So Trample Underfoot going in. So now James has remembered to trigger one of his quests. So it just depends on what card he's going to discard. So he's going to discard a Thundering Concussor and only heal for one from the Sacred Branch Wraith. So, for anyone playing Roticus List at an organised play event, please remember that you can't add Scarbrand as your fifth champion. The points for Scarbrand has been increased, so it will put you over the 30 point limit. Just be careful and make sure you read all the erratas before constructing a deck. So, it looks like James is trying to work out why his Protector Prime isn't on its last corner. And he's realised that basically he didn't trigger it. So one damage through Rotticus Rainfather, two damage from Blood Fury Wrathmonger, and one damage to himself. So Insatiable Blood Reaver goes into play, removes that Blood Fury Wrathmonger, and then follows up with the Vol Volchark Acolyte, does one damage. But now, if James decides to play a spell, he's going to take 4 damage from the um, Acolyte. So, Trample Underfoot, 3 damage. James has got to discard a card to get Trample Underfoot back in his hand. So 
discards a tactical removal to get it back into his hand. And then Hurricane Raptor goes in. What blessing are we going to get? So we get Divine Blast. He's going to take six damage and then gets to heal two for himself. Yeah. James has got himself rattled because he forgot the um he forgot the triggering on that first event he played. One damage through Roticus. Does three damage from the uh, Insatiable Blood Reaver. One damage from the Acolyte. Mike has not healed for two through the Blood Reaver, Insatiable Blood Reaver. Putrid Offering goes into play. Removes that Insatiable Blood Reaver. Deals two damage to James and heals for two. We're going to see the blessing. <laughs> Unrivaled Battle Lust. So Mike should actually be on 16 health at the minute. Because he didn't put the health on from that insatiable blood reaver. He knocked his marker and then forgot to do it. Two damage from those hurricane raptors. And draws two cards. Mike's go. So, one damage through Rotticus Rainfather. Unrivaled Battle Lust rotates, deals one damage to himself. And then the Acolyte deals four damage. We've got Gore Slick Skull Reaper going in for four damage, four Ren damage. And then we've got Opportunity Strike going in for five. So a massive amount of damage. Those Protector Primes are in totally the wrong place. They have not been effective in this matchup at all. So tactically removed the Gore Slick Skull Reaper. So it's going to do nothing but the last stand trigger and we'll do five damage from last stand. So Mike has taken it. He's through to the final. Well done, Mike. Commiserations to James. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and we'll see you soon for the final. Thank you. Bye bye.